Hello, my name is Lewis and welcome to Gathering the Magic. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the top five best partner pairing commanders from Commander Legends. Don't forget to hit that like button and why not subscribe for even more MTG lists, box openings and more. As always, this list has been compiled based on the opinion of those over at Facebook and Reddit and not my own awful, awful opinions. But I will add, the only rule in this list is that if a partner pairing is somewhere in the list, it won't be anywhere else. Otherwise, the list would just be Time Nut and Friends. So, without any further ado, let's get right into the video. For the 5th best Commander Legends partner pairing, we have Sakashima of A Thousand Faces and Krak for Thumbless. This is already quite the popular pairing and I can see why. With Sakashima out on the battlefield, it means that the Legends rule doesn't apply, meaning that you can have several copies of Krak. Get them both out onto the battlefield and play those cards like Spark Double. Boom, another Krak. Throw down a glass pool mimic. Boom, another crack. Another one. You want to get out as many cracks as possible so that when you do play those instants and sorceries, you have even more crack triggers and with all those extra coin flips means even more chance of copying those instants or sorceries and dealing more and more damage to your opponents. Play those mana increasing cards like Desperate Ritual and Seething Song. Have a few successful crack coin flips and then you're sitting on so much extra mana to use. Or maybe you want to return some creatures to your enemy's hands. Playing cards like Snap and Unsubstantiate will trigger Krak, allowing you extra coin flips and potentially returning a load more creatures to your opponent's hands. A really cool commander pairing that may not seem OP at first glance due to the lucky coin flip sort of nature, but you'll be absolutely loving it if you truly believe in the heart of the cards. It's time to duel! For the fourth best Commander Legends partner pairing, we have Akroma, Vision of Ixidor, and Rograth, Son of Rograra. Here we have another pairing that just works so well together. The game plan? Akroma gives each other creature plus one during combat for each ability it has, and with Rograth, it's already got First Strike, Trample, and Menace, so it's already getting a nice little boost from the get-go. But to be going over level 9000 here, we want to be giving Rograth even more abilities. Chuck on a Swift Foot Boots, Haunted Cloak and Loxodon Warhammer. Give it more abilities and strengthen it at the same time and pretty soon it could be very easy to get that 21 commander damage through to someone. Also, make sure you get in those creatures like Odric, Lunark Marshall and Concerted Effort. Get out those creatures that spread around those abilities you already have to your other creatures. Commander classics like Archetype of Aggression and Archetype of Courage will also fit the bill here perfectly as well. Give all your creatures trample and first strike and prevent your enemies from getting them. Lastly, if you're sneaking into your deck those copies of Zetalpa, Akroma and Baneslayer Angel, you're going to be at a really strong advantage. They are high mana cards, but with that high mana reward thanks to Akroma. This is a super powerful Boros Commander pairing and really, who ever thought we'd be saying that in Commander? Now before we get onto the top three, I just want to quickly mention that if you are buying Magic the Gathering cards, then make sure you use our code GATHERING-THE-MAGIC when signing up with Card Market. They are probably the most trusted site for buying cards out there, and using that code really does help support this little MTG channel. And by doing it, you'll be clearly going straight onto Santa's good list this year. For the third best Commander Legends partner pairing, we have Elieth, Crossroads Augur, and Siani, Eye of the Storm. Yep, this is a mono blue deck that's all about scrying. Whenever Siani attacks, use Scry X, where X is the number of attacking creatures with flying. So you want to fill your deck with those mono blue flyers, which there are hundreds of. There's those cheap to play flyers, flashy flyers, flyers that draw you cards, and even flyers with that scrying mechanic. This doubles off even better with Elieth, as whenever you scry, you draw that many cards instead. So whack in all those instants and sorceries like Opt, Deliberate, and even the brand new Jace Mirror Mage, because we are going to Scry City. You'll be scrying and drawing so many cards, so there's obviously one thing you need to do. Whack in all those ways of giving you maximum hand size, because playing mono blue, you're not going to be wanting to discard any of those bad boys. And as with the Boros pairing beforehand, get in that archetype of imagination. Give Siani a helping hand by giving everything flying. Make your opponents lose all their flyers and swing in over their heads for the quick victory royale. Runner up and the second best Commander Legends partner pairing, we have Jeska, Thrice Reborn and Dargo the Shipwrecker. 
Yes, it's the partner pairing's equivalent of Maelstrom Warrior and Fari Emancipation. Now the big goal here is to use Jessica's zero loyalty ability to get Dargo to deal triple the damage to an opponent and as we all know, 21 commander damage from Dargo is an instant KO for your opponent. And here is where I'd like to slot in the always amazing Gathering the Magic Card of the Deck Award. This time it's going to Kedis, Emberclaw Familiar, which should definitely be in your 99 for this deck. Make sure Dargo's damage goes through to just one of your opponents, which will then trigger Kedis, and then Dargo does that damage to each other opponent. That, my friends, is an instant win. Always make sure to play cards like Rogue's Passage and Manifold Key as well. Give those options to Dargo so he can't be blocked, just in case your opponents have that blockable fodder that will stop them from having all that damage hit their face. Lastly, make sure you have those Tutor and Wheel options like Imperial Recruiter and Valica Awakening out. Have those quick options to search out Kedis, get him out and then start watching your whole evil plan unfold. Oh, and if you're not putting the best card in all of Magic the Gathering, Prickly Marmoset, into every red deck you own, then what are you doing? The winner and best Commander Legends partner pairing is Thrasios Triton Hero and Time Nerd the Weaver. Yes, obviously this one by a landslide. It's a landslide! <laughs> Already a popular pairing before Commander Legends and two commanders that I actually pulled in the same box. Maybe even the same pack in my Commander Legends Collector Booster Box video. So check that out if you haven't already. To make the most out of Thrasios' ability, we're going to be going super rampy at the beginning of our game so we can afford to do that scry mechanic quickly. Get out your Noble Hierarch, Lanoir Elves, Elves of the Deep Shadow and all the many cheap quick mana boosting options. And the most popular route for this Commander pairing seems to be creating that little hate bear army. Get out your cards like Dranith Magistrate, Grand Abolisher or maybe even the new Opposition Agent. Create that little army to attack and ping off Timeless Ability whilst also slowing down your opponents. Again, as you've got that four colour variety, use the abundance of cheap instants and sorceries that really slow down and prevent your opponent from really getting out of first gear. And if you're feeling really dirty, just fill your deck with all those tutors. Find the card you need, deal a million damage whilst gaining all of that life, win the game and just pray your friends will play another game with you soon. There we have it, that is the list. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for all things Magic the Gathering. We do have another booster box hitting the channel sometime hopefully in the next week. I won't reveal what the box is yet though, I'll just leave it as a mystery. Make sure you follow us on all of our social medias linked down below so you don't miss out on the freshest of memes and occasional giveaway. But for now, I am all tapped out, so I'll see you in the next video.